In this video, I'm going to show you how you can implement AI into your publishing business to create puzzle books. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me here today. I want to share another video about using AI in your publishing business because I did create a video a few weeks ago where I used the AI tool called Mid Journey to create a coloring book to publish on Amazon KDP. And you guys loved that video. It is one of my more popular videos recently. I was pretty impressed with what I was able to come up with in a relatively short amount of time. And so it got me to thinking about other ways that these AI tools can help us create books. Puzzle books are another really popular type of book that people love to create and sell on Amazon. And I enjoy making these kinds of books myself too. So I started to think about how AI can help us make better puzzle books and make them even quicker than we've been able to make them before. One way that I have been using AI tools to create puzzle books is with word search puzzle books specifically. And that's the example that I'm going to show you in this video. I'm going to be focusing on word search puzzles, but there are other word puzzles that you can use AI for and ideas will probably just start coming to you about how you can use AI tools to create word puzzle books after I have shown you in this video how I've been using AI tools to create word search puzzle books. Let's just get straight into it. First of all, you are going to need a text-based AI tool. In this example, I'll be using ChatGPT. You'll need to sign up with an account for ChatGPT. If you haven't already, it is totally free to do. And you can be as specific with this as you want, but you basically just want to ask ChatGPT for what you want. And I'm going to pop in some examples now, but when you start popping in your own prompts, you'll come up with the best way to word these prompts to get the best results responses or to get the responses that you're looking for. So just play around with the wording and the things that you ask for and the way that you ask for them in order to be able to get the exact answers that you want. For example, for this one, first of all, when we have a word search puzzle, we need to have some topics. I mean, you can have just random words within a word search puzzle, but if you're creating a book full of word searches with say 100 or 200 word searches in them, usually you want to sort of create different categories or topics for each word search to be about. What we can do is we can say to chat GPT, give me a list of 100 topics for word search puzzles. And we click enter. And in around about 30 seconds, we have 100 different topics to create word search puzzles around. So we don't even have to come up with these topics ourselves anymore. This is just so, so quick and easy, so much quicker and easier than how we have been able to come up with these sorts of things in the past. So there we already have 100 topics to put into a word search puzzle book. What we want to do is we want to copy these words over to a text file. So then we can start adding our words under each of these topics. With this particular AI tool, you can click this clipboard, which will copy the contents of that answer and you can paste it into a text file, but it does bring over the numbers. So I find it quicker to just copy and paste directly from the AI tool than it is to delete all the numbers from a text file. So we just go copy and then we just paste it over here into our text file and there we have our 100 topics to create word search puzzles around. Next we need to find words to actually search for. How many words you want in each puzzle will be up to you and will also be based on the age of the person the puzzle is aimed towards and also the difficulty level of the puzzles. In this example let's look for 30 words per puzzle. So for each of those topics that we just got given by the AI tool I now want 30 words to go into to each of those topics. All we have to do is go through each of those topics and ask for words related to that topic. As I said, you can experiment with the exact way that you ask the AI tool for what you want. You may find wording it a little bit differently to what I do or to what you initially start out doing gives you results more suited to what you're looking for. So our first topic here is animals. Let's say, give me a list of 30 words related to animals. It can be as simple as that, or you can be as detailed as you want, depending on what you want this tool to respond with. In just a few seconds, we have 30 words that we can put into our word search puzzle all about animals. So again, we just need to copy and paste this set of words into our text file. 
So I'm just going to head over here and paste those words. And I now have a list of words for my animal word search puzzle. What I find is a lot quicker and easier to do is to just go up and quickly copy that prompt and then just change words related to to whatever the next topic is, which the next one was sports. So let's just change this to sports. We pop that in and we'll get a list of 30 words related to sports. We want to take it and we want to copy it. We take it over to our text file and we paste it under the heading of sports. We've got the next one here, which is colors. So we want to go back to our AI tool. We want to copy the prompt, paste the prompt and change it to colors so that we can get words related to colors. We copy those words and we paste it over into our text file. And you will continue to do this for all of your topics. This will be the most time intensive part of creating your word search puzzle book, but it is far quicker than what we have been able to do previously before we had access to chat GPT. Now I have quite a lot of topics to go through to create word lists for. So I'm going to go off and do that. And I'm going to come back once I have my hundred or so word lists for my word search puzzle. Okay. So once we have all the words for our puzzles, that we got from the AI tool, we need to pop them into another tool that will put these words into a word search puzzle box surrounded by all the random letters for us. And I'm going to be using Instant Puzzle Generator, which you can find a link down in the description box below too, if you want to go check it out for yourself, if you are interested in making these kind of word search puzzle books too. It's super simple to use, as you'll see in just a minute. There is one thing that we need to do with our text file first before we load it into this tool. And that is we just need to create some headings for each of our puzzles. And to do that, it is really simple. So what we need to do to be able to add a title to each of our puzzle pages is we just type in title with a colon before or the topic name or the category. Now you can change these to whatever you want. You can be as creative or as simple as you want, but you just need to spend a couple minutes going through each category, each topic and popping that title and a colon in front of each one as I'm just doing now. Also, one other thing you do need to do is just make sure there is a blank line between each of your puzzles or each of your set of words. This is so that the tool knows where each new word search puzzle starts. So it will create a new page each time there is a blank line for a new word search puzzle. Now we just need to save the text file and it is all ready to upload and start creating our word search puzzles. So let's go ahead and create our puzzle book. Our first step here, as we can see, is we need to upload our words. I'm going to select the file to upload. And in about five seconds, it has uploaded all of those word search puzzles into my book. So as you can see, by popping in that title with a colon has created these titles on the top of each page, just to give an idea about what each word search puzzle is going to be based around, what topic or what category. Now, the next thing we would want to do is just set up the book settings. I'm going to click this link over here, which is sort of like a global setting for the whole document. You can adjust the font, the font size, the grid size. Now, the grid size will alter the difficultness of the puzzle. So the more letters in the puzzles, the harder it's going to be to solve. I want to be able to allow the words to be right to left. So kind of reading backwards in the puzzle as well as top to bottom. And I would like to to have a play around with the columns at the bottom here where the words are. So that's not going to work unless I adjust the font size. If I adjust the font size of the actual puzzle to 24, then I like that the columns are a little bit more spaced out. I accidentally clicked to take my puzzle out of uppercase. So I'm just putting the, those letters back to uppercase. We also have the option to sort the clues alphabetically or just randomly if you prefer that. And for the solutions, which we're going to pop to the back of the book, I'm going to leave it with it showing the words in the puzzle with a bounding box. So you'll see how that looks in a few minutes when we go and do the solutions. I'm going to leave the font as it is as well for now, because it's a nice, clean, easy to read font. Within literally just a few minutes, we have created a complete word search puzzle book that has hundreds and hundreds of word search puzzles in. And now all we need to do is just get this book in a format where we can upload it 
to KDP. Now, one last thing you do want to do is add your solutions. This particular tool, it automatically does it for you. I highly recommend having solutions at the back of your puzzle book in case people get stuck doing the puzzle, regardless of what type of puzzle that it is. In this tool, to be able to download this book, we click this arrow button here and it brings up the option to download as JPEG, PDF or PowerPoint. So I've selected PDF and all we need to do right now is download the PDF version of the file and then it is all ready to upload straight into your Amazon KDP account if you are happy with how the puzzle book looks as it is. If there is extra editing that you want to do to the book, maybe you want to add some extra pages or maybe some extra features or maybe even some different types of puzzles into the book with your word search puzzles, then you can download it as a PowerPoint file. I love downloading these books into PowerPoint. It's a really easy way to be able to edit these books and you can take it in there and add in whatever pages wherever you want to add them and add in whatever extra puzzle pages that you want. For now, I'm going to just download it as a PDF because I don't want to do any extra editing. The other thing you can do is select which size book that you want. And this aligns with the trim or book sizes that you can print within Amazon KDP. I'm going to leave it as an 8.5 by 11. You can adjust how you want the page numbers to appear. You can center the page numbers if you want. And then here is where you can select how many solutions that you have per page. I would always put the most amount of solutions per page that I can fit, but that's just my personal preference and it is totally up to you how many solutions that you have. But obviously, if you only have one solution per page, you're going to have your book basically double the size because half of the book's going to be solutions, which is obviously going to cost you more in printing. So to save in terms of how many pages your book's going to have, I would select the highest number of solutions that you can have per page. And that is it. We click download. And if we open that up to have a look at this PDF, we can see all of our word search puzzles. If we scroll right down to the bottom, there is your solution. So you can see how having four solutions per page is fine. You can easily see where the words are in the word search puzzle without taking up too much of your book, the pages in the book. And that is it. That file is ready for me to upload into Amazon KDP. I just need to go order a cover from Fiverr and then in a couple days I'll have a cover to also upload with this. And that's how I've been using AI to help me create word search puzzle books and I'm really excited to also move into other types of word puzzle books that AI can help me create and it's going to open up the ability for all of us who are interested in these types of puzzle books or activity books or even things as simple as printables to make all sorts of other word type puzzle books in a much quicker way. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that you are excited about being able to use AI within your publishing business in ways that are going to help us make better books and more useful books for our customers. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.